This episode's for the pedophiles. <laughs> <laughs> You're in cahoots with Corey and Carmen. In cahoots. Do you think you could turn your microphone on? Oh my god, we gotta start over. Why do you stop? Why do you keep turning off the microphone? I didn't turn it off. Oh my god. It probably turned off in the bag. We blame your ADHD. <laughs> that we just talked about at yeah. length to silent. You can't hear me you at all. You can only hear me going, uh huh. <laughs> Yeah. Uh-huh. This time we're only four minutes in. The last time this happened, we lost an entire episode. Yeah. So um, that was pretty, pretty obnoxious. That was so sad because it was a really good one for it us, too. It was a really was a good one. Banger. The rest have been so bad. <laughs> that was the only good one we've ever had. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, uh, look at Larry. I see her. God damn it. Her She's face is trying to distract down. you. We turned She's the TV so off cute. because that was distracting you. She's and now so the cat cute. is distracting look her. Look at her little beans. Look if at her I little toe beans. Push her oh, off the couch. Oh, look at her little toe beans. <laughs> look at her beans and toast. If I push her off the couch rudely, will you be mad enough that this will be a good episode? Corey. Probably, but don't <laughs> do it. Don't do that. Please don't do, do that. Please don't do that. Please don't. Don't, 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 don't. <laughs> Can you pet her under the chin for me? Yeah, I'll pet the cat. Oh under my the chin. god, she's perfect. I saw oh. so many cats today. What did you think oh she was gonna do there? God. You just flinched. No, she went Bruh. and then I don't know. She, she jumped. Would never. So I, I was afraid that no, I didn't think oh. she was gonna bite me. She's I thought she was gonna like more. run away or something. Oh. Uh, um I got to see so many cats today. Yeah, Jess's cats. Yeah. Um, um and I went and I got Big Orange was in the backyard. Big orange was in the backyard. And mm. then I got to go to the pet store has two cats. At it, and they just oh they're so cute one was like massaging the other one when i walked in like i walked in and they looked at me like do you have an appointment here and i was like i do <laughs> <laughs> yeah how do i sign up for a cat massage <laughs> that'd be nice so oh, cute. you could pay a cat mm -hmm. you like train a cat to to knead biscuits mm -hmm. on people mm -hmm. that's a whole ass mm -hmm. business you could start mm -hmm. that right over in alphabet city oh my god <laughs> oh wow yeah you could charge that'd a lot yeah. And it's acupuncture because they use their claws. Yeah. <laughs> now you're talking. This is all natural. Mm hmm. There's so much bacteria in cats' claws. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Someone I'm get always sick and fighting. Die, but... I feel like I'm always fighting disease. Yeah. I mean, your cat is diseased, and then you also spend a lot of time on the train, and you live in New York. Mm hmm. Um, and also, it's just like good. you're so cute, and germs are like, wow, I'd like to inhabit that. That is a really nice compliment. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Speaking of really nice compliments. Oh, no. Look how cute your hair is. Corey got a haircut. <laughs> no. If you're, if you're listening, you Why should definitely you switch this? to the YouTube. Why are you doing this What do you me? mean? Your haircut is so handsome and cute. Uh -huh. um, when, the, when he first came home, I didn't notice it at first, but he did roast himself and say... <laughs> Do I look too much like a little schoolboy? And they had, and he like did the, he had his cute little eyes, <laughs> like as if it was the first day of school. He basically had a backpack on, even though you didn't. It just I felt didn't. like you did in spirit. <laughs> and you were so earnest looking, and your hair, they had like parted it and then like swooped it to the side in a way that was very like, I'm in first grade and it's picture day. And you said that, and I didn't stop laughing, I think, for like 45 minutes. That was like a long time. Yeah. Um, you were like, do I look like a little schoolboy? And then I laughed. I tried not to laugh, <laughs> so there was a pause. Uh -huh. And then I started laughing, and it just didn't stop. You're famously bad at not laughing when uh, you want to laugh. <laughs> You're really bad at it. Mm -hmm. It wasn't that, because I roasted myself. It was every... 45 minutes to an hour <laughs> you'd walk by and be like yo what's your first day of school mm. how was oh did you, did you have fun with your old friends your first day of school yeah. and I was like what did Carmen you stop it <laughs> <laughs> well I told you you would swoop it back with your stuff and it would look normal again and it yeah. does good but if you could do mm. that little boy thing I am no, so cute I'm never <laughs> doing that again why is it that everything that makes you happy makes me feel uncomfortable and weird because you're wrong <laughs> why can't we match we're matching things with me <laughs> oh yeah you really like that when uh, my yeah. friends came to visit they were both wearing shirts yeah. with lemons on they them they were both they weren't and it wasn't the exact it was exactly perfect matching because they weren't wearing the same shirt they were wearing two different shirts with the same exact theme 
Yep. Uh, Luna. So I think we should do that. Mm, okay. Really? No. Really? Wait, did you say no or yeah? When you I say said no. When you say yeah and <laughs> your yeah and your no sound exactly the same to me. Uh, do they? Does that say paused? Um, No. Okay. It shouldn't. Are you paranoid now? Yeah, always. Are you better now? <laughs> Are you feeling better now? <laughs> no. Is the oven You got off? your little uh, harass me on the train pig. Here's what, what happened. Do you, what do you call those? Pig I buns? Wanted to... Those pork buns? Steamed pork buns? Because <laughs> <laughs> wanted... they're not pig tails. Jesus they're Christ. pig buns. I wanted to just do the podcast <laughs> with no makeup on and you were like, no, no, no. Three perverts on YouTube won't click on this if you don't put on it's makeup. So I was like, well, I will take... It a step further yeah. and put on my little pedophile pig knots. These this episode's for the pedophiles. <laughs> <laughs> for the pedophiles t- yeah. episode title. Yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna have to put a put an asterisk in that one. <laughs> Most of our episode titles have an they asterisk do. in it, which I think is good for the algorithm. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you guys successful? Well, well, our names are pretty aggressive. Mm-hmm. Um, I might even take my sweatshirt off in a minute just to bring in the boys. Well, you were the one that was saying on the train you can't do pigtails. No. Or like anything like that, do especially not. late at night. Yeah, if you were to- a woman in any city, but particularly New York City, do not wear pigtails unless you want to get sexually harassed uh-huh. a lot. Cause and these- a lot of women want that. <laughs> These these men, baby. I can't. What is happening? It's what is stuck happening? In what are you bun. doing? And I put it's on my makeup stuck today in, in a way. <laughs> stuck in my bun. I experimented with my makeup because I didn't have to go to shows. I put on what I would call. Ooh, she got sunburned. What do you think? Why would why why would you get sunburned? Doesn't it look like I got sunburned? No. Oh, just like looks it looks like, like, like I got a like. little too much sun. That's just the a makeup I was going color. for. Color, I don't know. Yeah, like oops, a little too much sun. Oh. Oops, a little too much sun I wasn't for you. Sun. Just blush. I don't know. It looks good. The pedophiles will love it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because <laughs> this great. episode is for the pedophiles. And we're sponsored by, by Nambla. Nambla. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to think of the name of it. I got you. Speaking of little boys, today I went oh to the store God. and I bought these tiny little little people figurines. Do you want to look at them? He even wrote hey, what are those figurines for? by eight on it for me. These are not for anything. Probably reverse stealing. That's what I told the guy at the counter. Hmm. And then I think he thought I was flirting and immediately brought up his partner. And oh. I was like, buddy, if I was flirting, you're, you're right. Like, I would probably. Are you not also polyamorous? What is this? <laughs> uh, you run a thrift slash. What would you What would you call that store? It's not really a thrift store. It's just like little tchotchkes yeah. and like weird candle holders and Ceramic I'm pretty sure chickens. you can buy a sword in there you and like there's, it's a just a it's a emporium of a bunch of weird little shit and little tiny people um, and the man that works there has long hair and is definitely uh, into polyamory might have been a different guy oh I like how you got this balding fat man at the beach that's great yeah I thought that he was really good That was, he actually commented on that one he's like oh, I don't even remember seeing this one uh, I, I came in like two weeks ago and I was like I'm coming back for these little people and then I did and did. none of them had been sold <laughs> I was the first one to buy them yeah shocking this guy's cute huh little guy with a yeah right they're like half an inch tall you love a little figurine that you could yeah. put in people's shit yes these Just will look, the reverse a, pickpocket speaking of that the, look at this this is a, a tiny um boy scout oh i think great so perfect for the pedophiles yeah <laughs> what you do is you go reverse stealing is where you go into someone's house and you put an object somewhere in their house something weird that they will notice eventually you try to put it in a place where they won't find it immediately so that there is some like ooh, who put this here mystery mm-hmm. behind it yeah except we all know it's you Every single one of us, <laughs> like, like when you put a bunch of clowns in my apartment and I said, Carmen, where did these clowns come from? And you're like, I don't know what you're talking about. And I said, yes, you do. Nobody else is putting clowns in there. And, uh, you still never caught to it actually. Cause I didn't put those clowns there. Yes, you did. Did you find them again ever? 
Yeah, I found them like a bunch of times. Where are they right now? I have no idea. We share the same house. Then I guess you didn't find them yet, did well, you? Well, why would I look for them? It's also your house. I know where they are. Great. I'm, I'm sure you do. <laughs> Plug your ears. I'm going to tell the listeners. What? Plug your ears. I'm going to tell the listeners. Okay. They're in his asshole. <laughs> wow. You know how we don't have any space in this house? There's one place where you're <laughs> we not... We should have a lot of space in this house. Should. There's a one place where you're not storing anything for some reason. That's half this fucking apartment. Really? Most of this shit is yours. Well, oh wait, are you you filled all the drawers, right? Yeah, mostly. You're not allowed in there. I was supposed to have the other dresser too, and you somehow filled it with all your shit. Yeah, because you don't have as much shit as I do. I did have shit. I've had to find creative places for it because you took the drawers. <laughs> Like what? What's in those drawers? You do not have in that much clothing. Drawers? I've seen you. You're like a cartoon character. You own three outfits. <laughs> <laughs> three of them are shirts I They're all blue. Buy. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> I get rid of my stuff that I don't want. Okay. Are those drawers full? These ones? Yeah. Mostly. Okay. I could put more stuff in there. Yeah. If I wanted to. Can we put my stuff no. in there? No, I'm not letting this creeping takeover happen. You're like Russia and I'm Ukraine. You're just slowly <laughs> taking more of my land. I'm going to have to fight back. It is my land. <laughs> it's I decide it's it is not mine. your land. I take. It's my land. You get off of my land. I don't know what accent that is, but it was fun. <laughs> but they would have the same accent, wouldn't they? Uh, I mean, probably regionally. Yeah. Clearly, it'd be, it'd be pretty close. But they speak different languages, so... Oh. Yeah. That must make it hard for them to um, be like, hey, don't fuck up my place. You think that's the reason the war's happening? They yeah. just couldn't communicate? It's just like, yeah, they're just having like a failure to get a get a guy in there to translate. If they're like, oh, I'm sorry, we didn't realize we were blowing up your people. And, you know. And taking your land. Sorry about that. It's... Ooh translation we thought you said invade us <laughs> it really is Common like problem. you know when people do the hypothetical of like what if women ruled the world like these are the types of ideas that would lead to no war i think i think if there was a if there were women in charge they would have thought to have a better translator yeah mm -hmm. thank you yeah yeah Mm -hmm. And there'd be more baked goods and <laughs> we'd be fighting with scones. <laughs> yeah. Every morning everyone would get a matcha latte with uh mm -hmm. with uh, lavender cold foam, which Rose. I'm learning how to make from home. Oh. I just bought some syrup online. You're getting real bougie. Yeah, I know. You well, went from like I don't when I pay met ten dollars for a matcha like, latte. I'm not a gentrifier and now now you're a real gentrifier. <laughs> You're gentrifying the shit out of this place. Oh, I damn. got a local business. Yeah, the place with the ten dollar cold foam matcha latte. It's so like, good. I yeah, and you love it. But I'm that gonna is learn the how most to make gentrification it drink I've ever seen in my life. I know. And it's women owned, but it's all just Hispanics working back there at all times, <laughs> and they're all men. And it's like, great. Yeah, women yeah, can finally. employ minorities as well. <laughs> no. We can be terrible too. <laughs> That's equality. I bet they're getting paid well, though. They always seem really happy. They're not shitty to me at all. You sound like Willy Wonka. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus I don't know. Christ. They didn't complain to me. So I must be fine. <laughs> they okay. have like a smile on their face. <laughs> so they must be feeling like a pretty good. <laughs> uh, you know who should be back any day now? Our friendly neighbor who yes. blast music. Yeah. Your favorite slash mortal enemy. She went to, <laughs> she You really went have to, a love hate with her. I well, I am not excited for the EDM music to start back up, but she should be back any day now because um That's what I thought. because um what's it called? What's that festival called? Burning Man. Burning Man ended. And we haven't heard a peep. It's been two weeks of peace because the uh the bodega has also not been I know. partying. This has been a really nice two I weeks. I have a feeling that the bodega is gonna cool off in the winter pun not intended mm, um true. i think that's gonna be a bunch of summer parties but yeah that but the alternative is that they could go harder in the winter because they can't do street parties hmm. and the hispanic community around here 
fucking loves a street party. They do love a street party. Um, we all love a street party. You open the fire hydrant a little bit. You blast the cars. Mm-hmm. It's a good time. I like a good street party. Mm-hmm. Next door bodega party. Not a fan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If it yeah. could just be on the other side of the block so we can't hear it. There's a non-zero chance that she died at Burning Man. I was going to bring that up. <laughs> just the fact that we haven't heard a peep and the festival Nothing. ended two days ago is yeah. a little concerning. And uh, people do die at Burning Man pretty rarely, though. I think there was only one this year. Oh. And I, I don't think it was her. Hmm. Interesting. Mm-hmm. I always assumed it was way more. Me too. Electric uh, Forest, there's always two or three. Let's and normally it it's not like overdoses it's i guess it's normally like booze overdoses they just get too drunk and dehydrated yeah exactly um dehydrate most people don't die of dehydration at those festivals because there's so many cops everywhere Mm -hmm. so like people get too drunk they fall they hit their heads shit like that you know um yeah no not very many so we only had there's only been six since 1990 at Burning Man? Mm-hmm. That's not bad. It says about six, which, oh. what the fuck, what do you mean about somebody Jesus themselves come back from the dead? Ooh, that would happen at Burning Man. So, question, mm-hmm. if she died, mm-hmm. are you opposed which, to taking her apartment? <laughs> yes. Just asking the landlord if we could just head on over there and then get a basement. No, I don't want that haunted Why basement. Why don't you want the haunted basement? There's been some incredible sex acts <laughs> in that basement that I, just the energy would be off. <laughs> the energy would be off. <laughs> Come on. We could keep your shit down there. That would be really nice. Yeah, right? We need more storage. You wouldn't, I don't think... It, she doesn't have this window, though. She doesn't have this cool window. Oh, well. Whatever. I like our place way better. You like our place better than her place. Yeah. Is that just because you don't like, like you didn't decorate her place and it's all dark no, and I don't, set up I don't for like sex the layout. parties? Is, how is it different than this one? It's the same, but less light. And then there's a giant staircase that takes up most of the kitchen. What? So she doesn't really have the kitchen. She has the oh. staircase that goes to the basement and the basement doesn't have any windows. It's just a basement. Right. It's not exciting or good or interesting. It's just a basement. So it's way more storage. It's just storage. Oh. That's it. Well, it's And it'd be a great place. Now. And, and oh, it would be a great guest room. That's yeah. fair. So, yeah. Guest room. Yeah. Parties. Mm-hmm. It's like, I don't know. I'm never going to be mad at more space. Get to keep the backyard. Also good for parties. Um, mm-hmm. The hatch outside mm-hmm. goes right down to the basement. You could have mm-hmm. a basement and backyard party. Mm, the hatch. All I'm saying is if she dies, I think we can make use of the place. Wow, and these aren't even drug deaths at the festival. That's what I was saying. At Burning Man. There's a woman hit by a bus in 2014, and somebody fell under a trailer in 2007. Mm. In 1996, a friend of Burning Man co-founder uh, was killed in a collision with a van while riding his motorcycle at night. Wow. Wow. I didn't have no idea Burning Man kept it together. Oh, yeah. Isn't that the whole point of Burning Man is it's like controlled chaos? Where, like, everyone's just super nice to each other and it's all bartering and whatnot. Yeah, but there's so many drugs there. I, just, I thought people... Oh, yeah. People are... I don't know. Overdose... Maybe, maybe that's not accurate. The people that are going to Burning Man are the ones that know how to check their drugs to make mm. sure they're not laced with something. Because Burning Man's super expensive and, like, you're into the culture. The people who die of drug overdoses are, like teenagers who are scared that if they buy a test kit then the government's going to find out that they're doing drugs Mm -hmm. and super poor people that don't even realize that there could be fentanyl in there Mm -hmm. shitty stuff that they bought off the street Mm -hmm. Um, anyone going to burning man they're they pretty much know what they're doing Mm -hmm. yeah so should we go would you go i would go if we could get shows over there, of course you would go. Hell oh yeah, yeah there go. is. There's comedy there now. Emily, did you hear Emily Walsh broke her arm? What? <laughs> she broke. How? So our friend, we mentioned See, her last night. How is Burning night. Man? Every injury there is like completely unrelated to drugs and alcohol. Well, she doesn't even do drugs or really drink that much. Um, That's what I'm saying. I don't know how. Yeah, I think she fell off of something and broke her arm, and then her uh, boyfriend flew all the way to the Nevada desert to help her fly back because she couldn't carry her bags 
<laughs> and she like made a post on Instagram about how great he was and like everyone who sees him should give him a hug because she can't and like all this other stuff and I was like damn I am never doing that <laughs> I am just finding out harsh truth after harsh <laughs> truth on this podcast. I'll Carmen, be facing this way. Carmen, this relationship is built on the fact that we are both very independent people. And if you want to go to the desert and do a bunch of weird desert shit without me, you get to figure out how to come back home. Now, if if something like you actually You think I want to do horrible, weird desert shit without you? Yes. I would fly out to get you. You would? Yeah, of course. What? If, no, no, no. You There's can't like carry a severity your own suitcases? Thing. No, no, no. If it's an arm, if it's like a broken arm, I ain't coming. You're very good at getting people to help you. If you're like that's true. dying in that's the true. hospital, then it, I'll come get you. you. If you can just turn it into a compliment, I will forgive you. More of that. <laughs> I'm very good at the pivot. <laughs> um, people do like to help me. It's really weird. It's really obnoxious, actually. Um, yeah, yeah, I was thinking about this today. I like helping you, and then I get mad that I help you so much and I was like why what is going on there what's going on in my brain there I don't like that why don't you like that because you're getting mad at me for helping no I'm not mad at you Uh, mad at yourself mm, just kind of like not resentful trying to think of the word uh I'm just kind of like you sure it's not resentful no (laughs) I'm just kind of like man she's like i she i do so much stuff for her and then i'm like wait but i like doing stuff for her and it's like a weird mind wrestle that i have to that mind i have to wrestle. deal with that's yeah. cute i do mm-hmm. a lot of stuff for you too i know that's part of it yeah. it's part of the mind wrestle mm. Mm-hmm. i don't know if i like this mind wrestle <laughs> well too bad <laughs> um we went to another spa don't change the subject. Okay. We are breaking up done. on the pod actively. Again? What did you say before that that I was mad at that I can't remember anymore? Um, if you break your arm at Burning Man, I'm not coming to help you. Yeah, what the hell? This this <laughs> reaffirms everything that I've ever said about you yeah. in therapy. What have you said about me in therapy? <laughs> Which is that like, if I get sick or I need help or something, I just don't <laughs> see you as being there. I also did no, no, a joke no. the other uh, last night. I'm working on a joke where I'm like... I'm obsessed with you and I want you to be obsessed with me, but you're not like if I died, I think you would move on at a very reasonable and respectful pace. (laughs) And that fucking, I don't like that. I want you to be like, I have a bag of your hair and nail clippings and to never get over me to sit on my grave crying and pouring uh-huh. out whiskey uh-huh. and 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 your you and your, your new wife is right there and she's like what are you doing it's not even her birthday and you're like get out of here you'll never be her <laughs> you're southern you're southern in my flashbacks so flash forwards is the, did you just say the bit verbatim no oh, okay um it sounded very Can- kyle canane i liked it no thanks um, it'll be some version of that here's your mind wrestle though you don't want me to be obsessed with you you don't like people that are obsessed with you you're on guard you don't like it you like people like me and larry who are very independent that you can kind of chase after Mm, no mm-hmm. that's that's well that's my anxious mm-hmm. attachment style but as i get more secure uh-huh i want to be more secure no no slash no. have you be anxious and chase me if you're more secure then you don't need me to chase you here's the thing the I only reason we're dating is because i me. didn't chase you i want you to be like a little obsessed i want you to like oops you look across the room and you're like oh, holy shit she's so beautiful and i, I catch you looking today. at me and i'm like you were just laying on the couch i felt much love and i came over and said i love you oh yeah but like i want that every five minutes yeah i know (laughs) your your expectations are unrealistic at best I'll talk to Kayla about it. Yeah, I'll talk to Kayla. And she's going to be it. like, let the cats fight. <laughs> so, yeah, Why she's going to be on gloves? my side. She's gonna, yeah. Do it, band aid fingers. Make them leave you. <laughs> Her suggestions are so harebrained. They're so insane. I've been teaching. I taught my psychiatrist a little, like, about, like, nobody knows enough about the skin picking thing. 
Um, so I've been like teaching them and it's interesting mm. to watch them <laughs> learn because they think that I didn't do my own research. It's like I've had this for like 40 years. Why would I not have done the research, you know? And they're acting like I've never done the research. They're like, have you heard of this? I'm like, yeah, I've heard of that. Don't be insulted that they're asking what you've heard of and what you haven't. Most people don't realize that you're on WebMD all night. Yeah, they need to recognize it's because that because you I'm, haven't been diagnosed with ADHD. Somebody in the audience called me bright yesterday. Oh, yeah. In I said, "What do you think of me?" Because she, she, she was like, "I was like, I was like, oh, are you a psychiatrist?" And she was like, "I've done both. I've done both sides of the thing. I've or been a, been in psychology and done and been a patient or whatever." And I was like, "What do you what do you diagnose me? To say something? What am I? What about me?" And she was like, "You're very bright." I was like, thank you. And then I ended the show because I was like, I feel validated. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. That was five minutes into my set, so I had to keep going. And you're but... really just fucking around now. Yeah. <laughs> on stage. I'm having a great time. For me, it's all about severity. Uh, if you're in the hospital, I wouldn't leave you, Luna. Luna. Okay. But, but if, if you're just going to go below? break your arm or whatever, then like, I don't know. You're an indoor outdoor cat. You just run into stuff. But you use that you excuse hurt yourself a lot all the time. What if like it's not an excuse? What if one you can't just always paint me into that corner? Because what if what if sometimes I need more attention for um, and I'm more indoor for a year or more outdoor for a year? I don't think you actually want more attention. You do. Yeah. But then but it I stops also, meaning as much when I give you that much I attention. I know. And also, you were supposed to go out with the boys tonight, and you didn't. And I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting the whole weekend by yourself. I know, but I'm that's not, not right here. now. The last time I left I you somewhere, you called me and were like, Corey, I want to fucking die. And I was in France. Was Wait, like, what? What happened then? I was in France, and you called me. You were like, I just really want to die. I'm so depressed. I don't, nothing significant had happened besides I was gone. When was that? Dude, that I don't remember March. my life before Zoloft. Today was the first time I've cried in a really long time. It's been like four days. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean like really cry. Because the cat that I, one of the cats. Don't bring up Captain. You're just going to make yourself sad and this podcast is going to suck. <sighs> okay. I no talk crying about on the pod. It's just that some cats <laughs> don't have homes. <laughs> <laughs> and Captain is so sick. He's okay. No, Captain's not okay. No, he's not okay. I'm not going <laughs> to gaslight you with that one. He's not okay, but he lived a very adventurous and full life. And he's still alive and he's suffering. He's still alive. He's kicking. He's not suffering. Corey. He's not suffering. He meowed in pain today when he was trying to eat food. Oh, no. His mouth is full of... Jess, can you please come back so Carmen has to stop getting <laughs> sad when she goes to your house? <laughs> and then, yeah, she has these two healthy, beautiful indoor cats. Mm -hmm. Fat, and they laugh cute. at Captain. <laughs> they are so mean to Captain. I I shut the door now when I go to feed Captain. Jess I'm has like, got fuck Republican off. cats. <laughs> Rich Republican ass cats. They are. They hate the poor. God, they're always trying to like, yeah, tax the poor and like. <laughs> Don't give that piece of shit any food. <laughs> they really are like I'll Wall Street fat kill cats. Him. Yeah, they really are. Mm -hmm. They're the best Wall Street fat cats, though. Oops. I just dribbled water on myself. Yeah, that's pretty usual. Um, we went to another spa. <laughs> or do you still want to talk about our feelings some more? No, I want to talk about the spa. Okay, the spa. We're going. <laughs> We got scrubs. We got K okay. scrubs, okay. Korean scrubs. Is that what the K stands for? I guess yeah, because yeah, K pop. Right. So it's called K scrubs. Um, what are y'all doing over there? <laughs> Korea. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yours was way rougher than mine. Here's what we thought was. Here's what I thought was gonna happen. Oh. Because there was an option between a massage or a K scrub, and uh -huh. I was like, surely the K scrub is amazing if it costs almost exactly the same as a massage, and I. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of exactly as described it was like a somebody took one of those like rough sponges like a steel wool it was a steel wool but continue and then just steel wooled me until i had no skin left i'm pretty sure we talked about this on the last we podcast did. 
we just discussed it like together off pod yeah okay on the way home i think i lost like five or six layers of skin did you weigh yourself afterwards (laughs) (laughs) and i'm always peeling skin off. always peeling skin so it should feel amazing for me did Um, it feel like after your hands got scrubbed you were like (gasps) oh They're finally done. I don't have to pick them anymore. I did think about that. I was like, can you get the fingertips a little bit more? But I would never. Uh, When I'm being massaged or like being hurt, I will never speak up about it. And she's like, are you okay? And I was like, yes. (laughs) I wasn't okay. But I'll never ever ever say. I could tell you were suffering over there. Yeah. Well, let's back didn't up. Didn't we? We had the same thought at the same time early on, didn't we? Um, oh, yeah. right. We had a it lot of the same thoughts. It made us feel like we were dead bodies in the morgue. <laughs> <laughs> that was because you're just laying there. You're not naked, but you're in like a bathing suit, and they're just like they're going hard. They got like mm-hmm. these these mittens that have like I guess sand on them or something. <laughs> And because it's rough. See, now you're speaking my language. And, and they are like getting at some. I had a dude, you had a girl, and they're like getting in there, raising your arm and just like scrubbing your pits out. And I was mm-hmm. like, I don't think I'm going to have any fucking hair in there <laughs> after uh, after he's done with them pits. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was, I enjoyed it. Mine, but mine was less scrub and more massage because yeah. we also got the head uh the like head massage added she on to it 100 percent forgot that i got that added and on and then saw him give it to me and was and like, then tried oh, to shit, like throw tried to, something like, together at the last it. second you know the way that you're like oh my god that was due today yeah. and she's just like temple temple uh you're done and i was like i am not relaxed <laughs> no it didn't feel like it was supposed to be relaxing no i think it felt like it was supposed to be Punishment. invigorating oh not invigorating. as not as bad as like the russian spa that we went to where you get hit with like a oak leaf branch and it's like four thousand degrees and now, stuff what is that for that's invigoration that's hell yeah you're just paying for like a hell experience and then you leave and you're like wow i'm not in hell anymore Mm. i do want to maybe wow afterwards it's like when you're sick and then the the first day after you're done being sick you're like oh my god i'm gonna write a book (laughs) like i could take on the world right now oh those you know that sort of stuff yeah that shit's amazing you're like i'll never take advantage of being in good health again (laughs) yeah exactly three days later you're like fuck (laughs) it (laughs) i should have two cookies today i had so many cookies today yeah you have been on a real sweet kick lately yeah but like every social media thing is like just do it it's fine forgive yourself that's why social media is bad um i can't decide well so my mom very uh graciously got us a Mm -hmm. groupon to go to the spa castle Mm -hmm. um which we learned (laughs) had been closed for gonorrhea (laughs) and and and, drowning and drowning (laughs) and it only had like 3.5 stars on there but she found it on groupon uh she also didn't realize and i've talked with her about this so she's not going to be surprised by anything we say here (laughs) um she also didn't realize that while it was in New York City, it was a full two hours by train <laughs> to get there from our apartment. So we had to wait until we had a car. And so we got in for free. Mm-hmm. They didn't even scan the Groupon. So we're we going to try to go it. back. If anyone would like to go to the spa castle with us, uh, mm-hmm. e- email the show, incahootcc at gmail.com. We think and we can we'll get split in, in for four free. Ways. So we'll get two real tickets and then just pay for the, the Groupon. Or the Groupon will get us in for free and we'll pay for four ways. Mm-hmm. Um, you, it was you awesome. You drive up. It was great. And the facade the literally looks like minutes. a castle yeah it looks like a white castle like a burger it does it looks like a giant white castle mm-hmm. like if white castles had play places like mcdonald's that's mm-hmm. what it would look like you go and it's all like blue towels you can only be naked in the locker room pools and the locker rooms mm-hmm. have like pools and hot tubs but it's yeah. just naked men so i you went don't down there and that. i was like i was like where is the where are the boys <laughs> <laughs> and they were like upstairs sweetie this is yeah. just the girls room the girls room the women's were room. were there any tatas flopping around in the no. women's room no oh, everybody was, was a lot of wang in the men's room uh there always is y'all just want to take those they babies just out want to just hang free mm-hmm. i don't i don't know what mm-hmm. it is mm-hmm. um so anyway, you get up to like the main area and there's a bunch of like... Wait, oh, quick question. When was the last time your penis has seen the sun? The sun? Listeners, ask yourself that question. Same uh, with your vagingum. I peed in the backyard a couple weeks ago. Oh, what? Wait, you're peeing in our backyard? Just once. 
What under what sort? We have two bathrooms, Corey. <laughs> we have two full bathrooms. Sometimes a man wants to pee oh in his backyard. Were you eating hot dogs and peeing in the backyard? <laughs> yeah, it was me and all the boys <laughs> got together. Just took a backyard pee. Um, <laughs> no, it was when Sam, Johnny, and Evan were over, and we had a bonfire, and I went pee back there, and they said the same thing. Corey, you have two bathrooms, <laughs> and I said, but I don't want to go in there because Carmen's in there, and so I just I peed in the in backyard. There? No. <laughs> it was a joke. <laughs> Bitch. Um, yeah, I don't know. I didn't want to go. I just wanted to pee in the backyard. I didn't want to leave. I got to be real careful didn't not to break my arm. <laughs> <laughs> that just came into my head again. God, I am going to bring this up with Kayla. If you break your arm in the city, I'll go help you. I'm definitely not buying a plane ticket. I, pro- I And also, you thing. wouldn't want me to do it. Hold on. <laughs> That's correct. I would want you to want to do it. And then I would be like, Corey, of course not. Uh Don't do that. People will help me. There are lots of yeah. there are lots of men yeah. around and old women who uh-huh. just are desperate to help <laughs> yeah. me. Famously, a lot of old women at Burning Man. The, oh, at Burning! Oh, this is at Burning Man. <laughs> yeah, this is at Burning Man. There are older women at Burning Man. You would but find old women like so many me. dudes who want to sleep with you that would help you with your arm. Oh, Burning and then you Man, dude, wouldn't sleep with them, but they would feel like they had a chance. Yeah, that's my secret power. Mm-hmm. Yeah, really. I don't know. All all these ugly guys feel like they have a chance yeah. with you, and you're and good for you. You're not insulted by it. Oh, I am. Oh, okay. I I just <laughs> it's like we said we're like approachably hot, and I'm a friendly person for I, the most part. I say approachably attractive because I'm modest, but yeah, if you want to call yourself approachably hot, I would agree. <laughs> what? Go back to your side. No, you've just been insulting me all pod. I have not. Say three nice things about me before we continue. And I they have to be about my... I don't know. I literally just called you approachably hot. You thought about it. I didn't think about it. I literally just said it. Hmm. I was making fun of you for being for having high self-esteem. Why would you make fun of me for that? Because it's fun to knock people down who have high self-esteem. Okay, little boy. I'm yeah, sorry. Exactly. <laughs> it's almost like you could relate to it. Do you think I have high self-esteem? Sometimes. You you vacillate wildly. I know, I do. <laughs> Isn't it weird? Mm-hmm. Uh, you should see that if I One could moment take, you'll be wow. like, I'm the best fucking comedian in this fucking city. I should be at every single mm-hmm. fucking club. And then like two days later, you'll be like, I fucking suck at this. Why am I sending emails? It's like, Jesus Christ, pick one. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I like to be on the extremes. Uh-huh. Never in the middle. Nope. It's whatever you're feeling in that moment. Mm-hmm. So anyway, we go to the spa castle mm-hmm. and it's like... It's beautiful. It is. It's like my mom was asking me to describe it. And I don't say this as an insulting way to put this it's like if a oh, spa... Oh yeah, you didn't like the de- the decorations. I thought it was beautiful. No, but I, I'm a millennial I, and you're... I'm a millennial. You're a, um, how do I say this? The tile was built by older people. Like, it was definitely designed by older people. I thought it was tasteful. Uh huh. And it was beautiful. I they had like quartz stones. Yeah. And they had little like huts with all the different like heating components. Mm-hmm. It smelled really good. There was good food. There was Spock castle i'm giving this place an a minus mm-hmm. but i'm also describing it as if a spa kind of fused with an amusement park an amusement park the yeah. spa castle yeah no it yes. was it was nice there were children running around and all the like stations in the outdoor pool so it had like five saunas That's and true. then there like were a, lot of kids. a bunch of different stationed stations we went on a and weekend people weren't really relaxing they were bouncing between station to station like it was an amusement park ride and then there were also like kids splashing around and shit like that i'm not saying it was a bad time i'm just saying like when i think of a spa i think of like nice calming music and everybody's kind of calm and not saying anything and it definitely had a rowdy atmosphere to it oh, okay. and it was That's fun fair. and i enjoyed they it they want to keep people there they do want to keep people there. It's a hundred dollars mm-hmm. or a hundred and ten dollars for an adult to go there for the whole day. So, mm-hmm. um, but so they, they know if you're stay. there for the whole day, you're going to spend way more money. Yep. So we spent a lot of money. Well, we, you, it was the case scrubs. You spent a lot of it money. It was the case scrubs. It was the case scrubs. You had to, and 
we were going to get the massages. We were like, well, we're not in places to get a K-scrub very often. So let's exactly. get a K-scrub. Because like, what is that? We want to experience everything. She scrubbed your soul. <laughs> Uh, we didn't even did it, drink when you when she scrubbed when he scrubbed your penis and balls did that hurt no no no. he's very gentle down there <laughs> <laughs> no when he got into my booty hole he was <laughs> scraping that like if there was a bunch of brown and it needed to come off <laughs> sorry renee people your are gonna daughter think asked for it. i'm kidding they didn't <laughs> scrub our genitals we had our bathing suits on i wanted more ass scrubbing though i got like the, you got like booty the hint. Scrubs? i got the hint of the outside i didn't get any booty scrubs i just got like a little hint but you had shorts on yeah could have hiked him up yeah i really wanted more and she kept like readjusting my suit so that my so that the suit wasn't trying to eat my butthole the way that it does when it's unadjusted i had two problems with the scrub the first was that my masseuse was five minutes late and but did he kiss you no he didn't even kiss me oh wow you got See, kisses you, you got I, booty I, scrubs and kisses i signed up for kisses a k kisses oh k kisses <laughs> don't add another k uh <laughs> So we show up and there's two tables and throughout the scrub, you're getting water dumped on you. So the tables are covered in plastic and the floor oh my is God. just like a pool. How many times did you almost eat shit on the table? Oh, a couple. Cu- well, so, nah, I, was like, I figured Woo! it out. It, was, it, did, it was slippery. <laughs> it was so um, slippery. It was a slip and slide. We get there and she's like, okay, you here, you here. And I lay down. She puts the towel over my eyes and then lit. I was like, she started going to work on you. And I thought she was going to do both of us. So I was like, mm-hmm. huh, that doesn't really seem like a good deal. But then she just worked on you for legitimately five minutes. And I was yeah. like, is this how this is? Is she going to do like 25 minutes? I'm just going to lay here cold on this table. You must have been freezing. Like a dead body. I was cold. It I don't get cold. cold very often. <laughs> and I was freezing. And then this dude like runs in and he's like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm late. Carmen, mm-hmm. he had just come from lunch. And you know how I know that. How? So I was smelling his breath the entire time he was scrubbing. He was me. breathing on you while he you were scrubbing. He had the same breath smell that our breath smelled like after we had the Korean food for dinner. He had the beef bulgogi, and I know that for sure. Oh my god, that's so specific. Yeah, so the scrub was good unless he was close enough that I could smell his breath. So when he told me like flip over. I was like, thank Christ. (laughs) Get my back. Do like all scrubbing on my back. He scrubbed my titties enough. (laughs) What was your favorite place to be scrubbed? Um, hmm, Good question. Probably the center of my back, like right down my spine. Mm. You know, because that's the area you can't Mm -hmm. scratch yourself. Mm. So you just don't get a ton of uh, Mm -hmm. scratchies. Also, like, I don't know. There's, There's like a trend on TikTok about how all men like back scratches. It's true. Yeah. I don't know what it is. I don't either. They are nice. I'll take a back scratch. I mean, I like a back scratch, but not as much as any man has ever liked a back scratch. We're bears. (laughs) (laughs) These are weird. Mm, Okay. My favorite was lower leg. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Every time she got in there, I was like, oh, yeah, get it, get the skin off. But every time she went upper leg, I was like, ow. Owie. You could never get a tattoo if you thought that hurt really bad. I have a high threshold for pain. Do you? I used to have a high threshold for pain. <laughs> it's gone down over the years. It really has. So anyway, Spa Castle, uh, great time. Great way to spend a mo- uh, yeah. afternoon. And it's delightful. The you pool is so warm. You can't disagree. You felt rejuvenated afterwards. I did. I did. Yeah, feel, I felt really good afterwards. for like the next, the whole next, yeah, just 24 hours of just yeah. like bliss. I was like, is this how the rich live? This That's is, we should do this scrub. every day. Yeah. This is why we need subscribers on Carmen's YouTube so that she can go to the spa <laughs> and ri- live a waste the of life money. <laughs> of a rich person. I would get more massages, but yeah, I would also help people in need yep Mm -hmm. that's what i do with my money you help me yeah you're a person in need thanks (laughs) anyway carmen i have some random facts that i found on instagram okay they're fun ah fuck what i lost the page no did you save them no let's go into your saved posts and see what those are oh they're all stuff for this podcast that we've already done oh uh, let me see. Wow. Oh, found it. 
Hey, hey, hey. I found this fun one about uh, wolverines that I think <gasps> Somebody gave like. me five spoons. Five spoons? They're not in here anymore, but Billa. Wow. Liked my live and then gave me five spoons. That's crazy. That's... Is that a lot of spoons? So many spoons. What does that even mean? Um, It's like the goal of spoon. Anyway, the spoon app also just announced that this is probably somebody trying to offload their spoons because <laughs> this is sounds so made up. <laughs> this uh, the spoon app they just uh, announced that they're so not around giving people spoons. They're not going to do anything in the United States anymore. Speaking of Korea, they're probably just going to stick to yeah, Korea because right. they're very successful over there, and they mm-hmm. are very unsuccessful. Very in the unsuccessful. United States, it didn't catch on. Nope. I guess our live podcast didn't get enough. You're gonna have to fight them for money. Mm-hmm. So, anyway. Mm-hmm. Um. In the Tasmanian devil mating season, the male has to beat Wait, the... Wait, I'm sorry. I keep forgetting that Tasmanian devil is a real animal. Yeah, it's a real animal. Because they make it so ridiculous. Okay, okay, go. In the Tasmanian devil mating season, the male has to beat the female into submission <laughs> if he wants to mate. Jesus. And if the male is too weak, the female proceeds to beat up the male. Feminism. Honestly, big fan. Feminism. <laughs> How often does she beat him up, though? That is not described in the uh, Facts Weird post. Shout out Facts Weird on Instagram. (laughs) I would love to be studying animals and be like, all right, well, I guess we're just reporting on these domestic abuse animals. I like the ones that eat their babies. Sharks? A bunch of animals eat their babies. Yeah. Hamsters? Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's because you were shown something horrific in your early days, and mm-hmm. now you think that's how the world They're should like, be. They're like, Carmen, we got you a sweet furry little best friend. Also, it ate its babies. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, well, the world is chaos, and I'm going to become a comedian. Here's one that you can relate to. Uh-huh. A Duke University research uh, study revealed that men tolerate sleep deprivation better than women. When women don't get enough sleep, they suffer mentally and physically. They are at high risk of developing heart disease, depression, or blood clots, while men suffer fewer consequences. Okay, so stop disturbing our slumber, I think is the main... You disturb your own slumber with your weird-ass fucking dreams and your obsession with the cat being in one specific place. (laughs) She needs to be above me with my arms curled around her. Here's the thing. Um, this is like that temperature thing where offices are set at a lower temperature, a colder temperature, because men like colder rooms than women do on average. This is unfair. We need more sleep. Mm-hmm. On October 24, 1975. I got so much sleep the other night that my psychiatrist was like, how, what? Because I she was like, how much sleep are you getting? I was like, it varies widely. Like, I give her these, like, awful answers that without following up. And she's like, okay, so, like, how much? I was like, I don't know, anywhere from, like, six or seven on a bad night to, like, ten. Because <laughs> I had gotten, like, 11 hours the night before. And she was like, ten? you got to keep a better log of this. Because you've only had, like, one really bad sleep night over the last, like, three weeks. That's true. So, I don't know if that's... That's been really good. Should I? Maybe I should stay on 100 milligrams. I asked to go down to 75. Why would you not stay on 100 milligrams? Because it's a lot. It's too much. Why is it too much? I feel so foggy and like out of it. And um, it's not helping with my my nail stuff with me picking my skin. I was thinking 100 was better. Oh, were you? You said you didn't notice a difference. No, I said I didn't notice a difference with your nail picking. picking. Don't (gasps) conflate what I say. It's like, oh yeah, my boyfriend doesn't notice. I completely noticed a difference. What's the difference? Just sleep? Because I think it's hormones. No, you're in a better mood. Hmm. I don't know. I cried like all for like five minutes today. Yeah, because you saw something that made you sad. Yeah. But you woke up angry and instead of being angry for the next four days, you were only angry for the next couple hours. Mm. Which is how normal people function. Oh, yeah. I had an angry morning. Yeah, right. I I woke up mad. You don't even remember it. No. If you're going to go down in Zoloft, I think you should try ADD meds. I would like that. Yeah. So. Because I think I'm a little bit misdiagnosed. Yeah, well, yeah. I know I'm not supposed to be on those calls with you, but I... I'm always tempted to ask if I could join those calls. <laughs> Just to be like, okay, what has she told you? Because <laughs> you do like to exaggerate. It is your career. No, I You've under I under exaggerate on the on the calls. 
I'm like, I'm fine. I'm doing great. How are you? Well, yeah, but then you get it. But in the first call, when they were, when the psychiatrist was uh, diagnosing you, hmm. you were like, I can never get out of bed. I can never do this. That was I can't true, do that. Though. No, but you did get out of bed every day. You went to stand up mm. all the time. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It definitely helps. Yeah. The woman, yes, I, with the people I was talking to yesterday from the audience, one of them said that she was misdiagnosed with depression when she actually had allergies. Like, what? She had really, really, she was super, super, super allergic to like all the flora and fauna that was around her, particularly olive trees. And she just like was, and it had, and it mimics the same uh, symptoms as depression. And she and Weird. she just got completely misdiagnosed, and then she was like, "Oh, okay, great." Because she was like, "Why am I depressed? I have like a really good life, <laughs> but like I can't get out of bed. I feel awful all the time. Mm. I feel groggy. I can't focus or whatever." Um, and they gave her sertraline, and sertraline actually does help with allergies as well. Oh. Isn't that interesting? Interesting. And then the other guy was a cop, and he he went on. Um, one, I don't know one of the antidepressants and he said it was like wasn't working wasn't working because it's early on and it's like one day it just like clicked and he was like this is amazing but then he got like a call on the on the radio and he couldn't make a decision and he was like I don't I can't and he got like all brain foggy and he forgot what 10 four meant and he's like I gotta get off this <laughs> and just quit cold turkey huh mm-hmm. you're he, not supposed he, to do that he had too much brain fog from it uh. so this poor cop is just going around being sad it's funny. I was really tiptoeing around talking to him because <laughs> like, I don't like cops, but he was also a black cop and that complicated things because he said something about how You're he... You're so racist. <laughs> well, that complicates things. Why does that complicate That makes things? me like you more, but I still oh don't gosh. like you because you're so still a cop. you don't like cop. him, but you'll date him? Oh, I didn't. I wasn't dating when that guy wasn't a cop when I dated him. He became a cop while we were dating. Oh, yeah. He needed some law and order in his life after... <laughs> You. Oh my god! Yeah, Ugh. actually, I, I had like a, a I had like a I had like a loose rabbit at that point in my life, and a lot of flies in my house, a lot of, a lot of yeah. hay. Oh my god! I was. If this is how you are chaotic. at forty, you would be just a fucking Tasmanian at devil. Twenty, I was in a nightmare. college. Yeah, I was not great. Yeah, so anyone that dated you would be more like capturing you, like a <laughs> wild cat. It was <laughs> so much like that. <laughs> Mm. Larry, how did we end up like this? Mm. Um, another fact: a woman once found her ex-boyfriend living in her attic twelve years after breaking up with him. <laughs> That's so funny. I feel like I would respect you that at that point. Might do that if I had an attic. How cool is the attic? I, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it would absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Uh huh. Where else am I gonna that go? That checks out. That checks well, out. Well, 12 years is a lot. I would feel annoyed because I'd be like, what did you like listen in on me? Like, you know, she moved on for 12 years and he was up in the attic. He was up in the attic. I mean, that is what it feels like when dudes will, like slide back into your DMs and you're like, we dated when we were 12. Oh. A lot of women reported this during the pandemic, like middle school and high school oh, exes yeah. oh yeah were like sliding in uh-huh what was that that was the weirdest phenomenon everybody like went through like a midlife crisis pandemic crisis thing yeah and they're like oh the one that got away sandra and it's like we slow danced once dude <laughs> they were just looking for like any connection i mm-hmm. i talked to like a bunch of old friends that mm-hmm. i reached I so didn't, you did it too no not girlfriends um they'll kill me um no like old friends but i also Mm -hmm. like paid to paid the dating app to keep swiping in new york so like Mm -hmm. i was still kind of talking to people from new york um where like you paid the dating wait so yeah yeah. if you pay like ten dollars a month on the dating apps you could Uh swipe in different locations so like i was on hinge back home but Uh. i was swiping in New York and I be see, like, "No, I'm coming back! I swear!" <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it worked out. I, you know, 
had Got to some talk dates. to a couple of women. I had a couple of Zoom dates. Oh, um, that's so weird. Yeah, it was pretty weird. I eventually gave up after like a couple of weeks and started uh, just calling my friends and talking with them on the phone. Tell me more about but, the Zoom uh, dates. I'm actually like legit curious about that. Uh, what about them? I don't know. Like what? Anything notable? Oh, we just take our clothes off and just kind of kiss the camera <laughs> down in our parents' basements. It was great. <laughs> Um, no, you would have the exact same conversation you were having with everyone else. Because if you remember yeah. in the pandemic, everyone had the exact same conversation. How long is this going to last? Do you think they'll make a vaccine? What yeah. did you hear what Trump said? Like every single conversation was the same and yeah. it was fine because it was like news and it was concerning and that's all anyone wanted to talk about. Yeah. Um, but it did not go anywhere. Do you think if we didn't know each other and we had a date on Zoom that we would be together now? No. Oh. <laughs> I got a burp. Oh my god. Well, uh, Luna. We're at an hour. Wow. Time flies when you're mad at Corey and interrogating your boyfriend. <laughs> Cuz I have a new joke about how we're at when I ask you, when I asked you, do you think I'm smart? You said, um, I think you're emotionally intelligent. <laughs> Which is true. I said, quote, you're very smart. And you said, what are the types of smartness that I am? And I said, you're very emotionally intelligent. I, <laughs> and you make me look bad yeah. in all of your jokes. Well, for the joke, I have I to take it out of context. It makes it however, funnier. However... All of our friends know me. <laughs> All of your friends know me. Um, You're right. It's probably important for us to clear the record on the yeah, podcast. Clear the record with the friends. Be like, I make this sound worse than it was. Mm -hmm. For the joke. For the bit. For the joke, which I understand and mm -hmm. I appreciate. I need more jokes about you is what I've decided. Yeah, you Because right. I need to make you look bad and I don't have a ton of Yeah, them. good luck. <laughs> Maybe that's why it would make you look too bad. Nobody <laughs> likes the boyfriend shitting on the girlfriend, though. That's not no, nearly don't. as much fun. But no. people love the girlfriend shitting on the boyfriend. Mm -hmm. It's the meta right now. You just got to roll with it. It'll swing back. Punching up. Once we have power, then you can do it, too. But that's never going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> Ever. Right. People you make jokes women. about me, but I can kick you out of the apartment. Mm -hmm. What? I'll go to the attic. I will go straight to the attic that you don't know Claire's that we have. Go to basement and just <laughs> vibrate yourself loud enough that I can hear it. She would let me. Oh, yeah. That'd be bad. Where can people find you? <laughs> did you just say her name? Uh, yeah, I did. Oops. But we've said it before. Oh, okay. Whatever. Um, they can find me on YouTube. Please subscribe to my channel. I made a big push today and I only got two new subscribers. Oh. If, I don't, if I don't get to a thousand, then well, I won't make asked. money. I know. You've already asked a bunch of people to su subscribe. It's so. so embarrassing. Yeah. Please subscribe to my YouTube. Carmen Legala Whatever comedy. the opposite of a salesman is, is you. Like, well, I am begging now and people are still yeah. like, ew, no. Ew. And I totally get it. Oh, we're not letting them into your release party until they have subscribed to your YouTube. So okay. at the very least, you'll hit a thousand by the time it comes out. <sighs> Ideally, it'd be beforehand so we can like apply for partnership. Mm -hmm. But if you're not subscribed to Carmen's YouTube, what are you fucking doing? <laughs> what are you doing? You're you can really even like mute us. it. I just you're need really to. Killing I us. can't monetize until I get a thousand subscribers. I think we need to start begging at the beginning of this podcast as opposed to the end. Because oh, yeah, I think right. we lose a lot of people throughout just, yeah. just because they get done shopping or working out or whenever <laughs> they listen to us. We just, at the beginning of the podcast, we need to be like, hey, right now, go subscribe to her YouTube. That's true. And uh, Carrie, yeah. that meat is expired. Don't get that. It's expired. <laughs> you haven't done that in a while. <laughs> I love um, doing that. <laughs> where else? We got a bunch of road shows. Yes. I made a thing. You did. It's so nice. Yeah. We'll post it on Instagram uh, next week. But we mm -hmm. got all these road shows going yeah, on. Yeah, tons of road shows. Uh, we have, we're in Vermont fun. when this comes out. Vermont, literally tonight. If you go to Vermont Technical University, Technological University, uh, go to that. <laughs> um, the, um, fuck, I fucked up the poster. 
See, that's I fucked up my poster yeah, too, and that's what I was so sad fucking about. Scream about how I'm a worthless human being just because I fucked up a poster. It was that, and I didn't get in the Vulture article, and I didn't. You get, didn't a lot apply of stuff. for the Vulture article. How the hell were you gonna get in the Vulture article? You post six reels, and you hope that Vulture finds you. Those people have agents. Oh my god. Oh, no. Um, it still makes me mad. Montpelier on Saturday, September 14th, Arlington, yes. Virginia, Friday, September 20th, New Providence, New Jersey. Fr- Damn, I fucked that one up too. Uh, Saturday, September 21st, uh, Detroit, October 5th. That'll hopefully be two shows. And then Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania, October 11 and 12, and Seattle, Washington, October 18 and 19. Yeah. I And then so much maybe stuff. Martha's Vineyard the weekend after that, but we're not sure. So Ooh, and I get to MC anyway. Town Hall in New York City for Dan Soder. For He's got a show. Go get tickets to that Dan on November eighth. Soder. And what um, does this say? Wrestling WWE. What? I don't know what that is. Sometimes I put notes in here when I'm drunk and there's like some burger contest coming up that we need to go to. No, it's a let's see, chicken I'll go to a burger contest. Chicken sandwich. Oh. And then there's a name next to it, so I gotta look into that. Because I think we're going to a chicken sandwich judging contest I'm into that yeah I know I knew you would be yeah I was gonna surprise you with it but I just said it out loud yeah you're pretty bad at surprises <laughs> I know oh we're in Tacoma Washington as well December 13 14 oh that's in December yeah <laughs> well depending on how my knee situation turns out you can I ice it in Tacoma might not be able to go but maybe Oh, right. We're going to try to get skiing. Da- Why are we saying this stuff that we should be off no. podcast by now? Okay. The knee stuff. Mm-hmm. I hurt my knee. We'll yes. get into it in the next pod because I'll have more news. People but will want to know. Hopefully, I won't need surgery. I'm excited to find out what the problem is with your knee. Yeah, me too. I've been waiting a decade. Mm-hmm. I'm ready to find out. This has been the longest gender reveal. You're a tall man. You're going to have knee problems for your whole life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I'm going to have cute problems for my whole life. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Thanks for being in Cahoots. Cahoots with with us. Us.